know why we're here hello beautiful people so listen I'm excited here we go okay here we go okay here we go okay here we go oh wait I said I checked the time yes we're going higher we celebrating baby Kaziah you know what it is yes indeed we are Taylor made and you know it's me so I am so excited we are honored to be here because we love you Fantasia and Kindle. yes you are our dear so here we go it's about that hour yes indeed welcome to the virtual baby shower yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Listen, I thought about that all night. Thought about that all night, family. But what's up, beautiful people? Listen, you are tuned in at the right time. Welcome to the virtual baby shower for the beautiful Kaziah London Taylor featuring Kendall and, of course, the beautiful Miss Fantasia Taylor. Listen, we are joined here with friends and family, but you already know, you got the VIP seat. You are here. You get to see. And because of COVID, we wanted to keep Miss Fantasia very safe. So look, but that's okay. We are safe. We are distanced. And we are so happy to be here. I want to do a couple shout outs because I am very excited. I saw the elephant and I saw the decor and we saw cuties. So I would be remiss. I would like to take this time to shout out at Cuties Baby Care. Every case of Cuties diapers you buy helps a child in need. So shout out to Cuties Baby Care. Please be sure to follow them on social media as well as the decor, the beautiful decor if you all can see, is by Beyond Expectations LLC. That is also their at. So please be sure to at Beyond Expectations LLC. I'm so excited. Y'all so excited. Please be sure to use hashtag TaylorMadeBaby and we are in the building. <laughs> Little nice. You are dope at there. Oh my gosh, I just, I love you. I was going oh, to be you in. Gotta make sure we're in the right we place. We got to bring you and the Rickets together for Taylor <laughs> Talk. What you doing Tuesday? <laughs> Deal whatever you need. Cancel. It's for you. Listen, we're so happy to be here. So usually, you know, you all do Taylor Talks. But we wanted to do a special segment uh, for those who are very excited here. Let's do a Taylor Talks baby. Yeah. Yeah, so, so excited. So I just wanted to ask you all a few questions um, because we wanted to get into all the good things. The first question is, what is the first thing that you both did when you found out you were expecting? Oh. <laughs> so um, I don't think we were talking that day. Where are we talking that day? She was a little upset. I was a little upset, but I was sick. And I thought I was like, you know, I'm coming down with COVID. Mm -hmm. I thought I was coming down with COVID. I did. Okay. But I hadn't been nowhere, so I was like, impossible. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know? Yeah. So I was like, either I'm going to take, go in and get tested, or I'm just going to take a test. But I, I didn't think that was it. Yes. But I took the test, walked away from it for a minute. I talked to myself the entire time. I was like, I can't be pregnant. It's probably COVID. I need to go get checked out. I need to think about everybody that I've been around, Dallas and Zion, both my mom-in-law, my mom-in-law, my mother. I was just thinking about it. I got back to the bathroom, and it said positive. And that, you see Ooh, what you just did? Yeah. yeah, the, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. And I took it, and I meant to toss it. I think I threw it at Kendall. <laughs> I was so excited <laughs> that I just threw it at him. He was like, babe, I ain't got time for this today. I'm like, look. <laughs> and he looked at it, and I think he fell to his knees and just started worshiping. Oh, wow. Because we had been trying. So, you know. Like I said, we was a little, you know, a little friction. I mean, it was marriage stuff, nothing major. But so she came in and threw it in a card. And I guess she had the card a while ago when we were trying. Mm -hmm. And she just threw it at me. So I'm in there minding my business. It comes out of nowhere. And I'm sitting there like, yo, what's, oh, that's what we doing now? <laughs> You know what I mean? It was one of those things. That's what we're doing. And I looked at it, and it's just, it, none of that mattered anymore. Wow. It was just like this. But now that I think about it, I was probably being mean and moody because I was pregnant the whole time. It makes sense now. No, I didn't know it. No, no, no. I'm sorry. You okay? Sorry. Don't forget about it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So I wanted to get into the name. Absolutely beautiful name, Kaziah London Taylor. Uh, talk to the people a little bit about what Kaziah means, or how did you all come together with the name? It's so beautiful. Okay. Yeah, we'll share. So, so we're not big on the juniors, and you know, name them Ken Dorf, it's Fantasia. Of course, we're gonna name her Fantasia. You know, name her Fantasia. But we were thinking London, because we always assumed we would have a boy. You know what I mean? I got a boy. My boys got boys. My mama got boys. Number boys on this side. And so we said we're gonna do London, and then I'm gonna kick it to my wife because we were in this particular time of really studying our work hard. We would get up on the Sabbath. Okay. I, we would pray together. I go upstairs in my office and read. She come downstairs and read. Then we come together and just kind of share perspectives. And she dropped this on me that day, and it really signified what our lives had been through. Therefore, what she represents. And I'm going to let my wife put that icing on the cake. So we were, I was reading Job. I was in Job heavy, the book of Job. I think I shared that with both my moms. I was like, I can relate to the story. So I, I went through the whole book. I, I just couldn't stop. And seeing all that he had went through, and I kind of related that to me and Ken. You know, we linked off of the story, hearing his story and the things that he had went through and how he made it through some things. I was the same way. So Job lost a lot. But when God gave it back to him, he gave him a daughter. Uh, he gave him two daughters, I think. Am I wrong? Yeah. Two. And he named one Kaziah. And so I called Ken in the room. I was like, what about, I know we like London, but do you like Kaziah? 
Kendall, Kazaya. And he's like, I was here for the <laughs> having my same initials. My initials are KLT. My little baby girls would be KLT. But more importantly, like as parents, we read the scriptures. We want the power of the scriptures. We, we, we want the benefits. But we also haphazardly name our children. And that was a very serious thing in the scriptures, especially for fathers. You're like, e even if it was hard times, if it was hard time that that child's name was somewhere, you know, based on that. To, to, so when you look at that child, it reflects a period in time in your life. Yeah. And for Kazai, it was just like, Joe, we're in a situation where God is starting to restore everything that we lost and giving us everything we thought we never have, i.e. Kazai, and it just fit. But we just squeezed that London in there. I love you know? it. I love it. It's so posh. It's like, Kazaya London Taylor. <laughs> I love it. So, Kendall, this is pretty huge. This is your first time girl dad. Okay? It's on and pop. You see, I just put the mic right there. <laughs> you put the mic. How do you feel? Just like, how does that feel to be a first time girl dad? And also with the intentionality behind the name Kazaya. I mean, it's a God thing, so it's a good thing. But I just wanted to get your views on that. I fully understand it. I have yet to understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um... My wife always said this thing. She said, one day, God, you know, God might give you a girl so you can understand me better, you know? And I'm getting it. She's not even here yet. I haven't changed her diaper, but I'm already wanting to prevent her from ever encountering, encountering the younger me that says you start to think about things you've done as a man, things that the way you've looked at the world. And so she's already changing me and she isn't here yet. So I'm, I'm pretty much done. <laughs> if you ain't heard from me in a couple months, check on me. I'm probably being held hostage to her demands. Right. Yeah, that's where I'm at with it right now. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, congratulations. You're going to do amazing. Amazing steward already, so of course. Uh, but I wanted to know, Miss Beautiful Fantasia, what are some things that you were craving um, early? <laughs> you said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Meat. We were vegans? Okay. Steven, we were vegans. I'm telling you. Doriga's why we're vegan? Please believe uh, me. I'm still vegan. <laughs> <laughs> We don't know that yet, everybody, because me and Steven sometimes feel like we hear him at Bojangles some nights, but um, we were vegan, and I started craving chicken at 12 o'clock at night, before or after the shortage. Before the shortage? <laughs> the chicken shortage. We got a chicken shortage? We, we haven't even read. We <laughs> <laughs> Is that a shortage? I'm sorry. We haven't seen it. Tell them, Dallas. You eat chicken Overflow. Day, day, Overflow. It's, Overflow. A <laughs> it's a shortage right now? Oh, I didn't know that. No, that's okay. Oh, it's man. Overflow. No, no, no. Well, that, that must have been way, before, way, way, yes. way, 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 Chicken shortage, way. Dallas. <laughs> Dallas only eats chicken, so we got to pray about this thing. <laughs> but, like, you try, well, baby. Crazy, baby. I'm proud of you, baby. But, like, 12 o'clock, sis, I wanted Zaxby's. And Ken was like, babe, we vegan. I know. And so that's how I knew. My cravings this whole time have been weird. Sweets. I want a lot of sweets, and I'm not a sweets girl. That's Zion and Kendall in the house. They like sweets. I think Trey. Trey. Trey do a little bit of sugar. Yeah, Trey likes sugar too. Not me, but now that's all I want is a bunch of sugar. And I can't have it because now I'm diabetic, but that's all right. Just done a pregnancy. Don't just get it done, twisted. Yeah, just now. Y'all start mailing insulin shots <laughs> and how-to right. books. It's just, just in that third <laughs> turn. <laughs> they won't come in here. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> don't mail no insulin shots. right listen <laughs> none of that none of that well listen we are so excited we love you all we're celebrating you all and listen for the people uh, who can't be here but we want to paint the picture how do you feel about the decor all hey. things beautiful shout out to cuties of course but also beyond expectations just give them how do you feel like being in the room with all those you love well it feels good to be we're missing a lot of people of course um but when I walked in, I want to take all of this home. She's not Then Didn't I say it? I said, fill the elephant and see if we can take it home. <laughs> um, it's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. So I'm trying not to cry. Then they had I Believe playing. They did. Took me back, back. Yeah. But thank you so much. This is beautiful. I just want to sit here as long as I can, Kevin. As long as I can. And just suck all this up. Thank you so much. Yes, absolutely. Well, we love you all so much. And listen, friends, as you all are watching, please be sure to use hashtag TaylorMadeBaby, and we are happy to be here. So, Derekus. Oh. I know. I know. What's yeah. up, Derekus? Hey, guys. Here you go. First, give an honor to God, who's the head of my life. <laughs> Look at my mama. All right. Listen, all right. Don't listen, get my mama started. Right. Listen, it's Sunday. 
you know, it's Sunday. It so, you know, last week or last Tuesday, I came in with my introduction, but that was on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. But today is actually, it's Sunday. It's Sunday. Sunday is church day. So, uh -huh. <clears throat> first, giving honor to God, who's the head of my life. Thank him go. for waking me up this morning yes. and starting me on my way. Yes, fixing me and keeping me in my right mind to see another day. And if it had not been for the Lord, I don't know where I would be. But I just had to stand while I have a chance and say thank you, Lord, for letting me see Kaziah's baby shower. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hey, guys. We don't change, bro. So listen, 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 Linda. Listen, Linda, and listen, Kendall. Why we get ready. Be because I, I know you get ready to, to just. Because, I'm not arguing because, with you today. Because. Listen, listen. I'm going to tell you, she did good all the way up until Friday. Friday, she, she had not asked me about this baby shower. Okay. And then on Friday morning, she called me. She said, can I just ask you? I said, you've done good. You've done good. You've done good. Oh, but you, it was hard for him to hold oh, it. it Robert, hard. I want y'all to know. <laughs> it was hard. He kept saying, but all I'm going to say is, it's going to be bad. I'm going to stop. It's going to be I'm bad. telling you, it's going to be bad, yes. girl. I'm going to stop bad. talking about it, teasing me. It's worth it. But I thank you so 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 much you have been there with me with all the children you have been there when we didn't really have anything and you've made a way for me to have i was there when you were single when we were when we were at the grammys but no no never mind. no you made a way for me to always feel love oh i'm just saying so thank you so much i know i know i know one of a kind bro no you know way. i remember when we were um uh she called me one night and said, I met a guy. <laughs> she said, I met a guy. And I was like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And she told me about you. And we ran into each other in the hallway in D.C. And uh, we looked at each other. You said, Dorica, I said, Kendall. And here we are. What, what's this, six, seven years? Seven years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So enough of that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So this is what we're going to do. Because this is a baby shower. Let me make this, this, this disclaimer. We're going to play two games, and we're going to need your participation. And because we don't have a lot of people, you're the two. You're the, you're the guests. Yes. You're the, you've played the games. Yes. So we got, um, so the first game we're going to play, y'all can take the babies on out. Kendall, this is going to be a little practice, you know. Ooh. These are the items. Yes. Are you want me to put this on too, on top of my lashes? <laughs> Are you saying that too, then you sis? They don't understand. Yeah, I've been set up. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to need, who's going to be the top person? We need somebody with a phone with the top person. You got me? Yeah, Tyler. Yes, send you on me. Oh, this is going to be hilarious. Oh, this is, okay, let's say two minutes. Two minutes. No, 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 I was, I was thinking one minute was good. Okay, one minute. Yeah, let's do one minute. One minute. Gonna make it, you know. So you're gonna be blindfolded. Right, yeah. And so you gotta, you gotta pick a pound for one and get the baby dress. And a mesh blindfold. Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the, the one thing we're gonna take out is the underwear. Okay. Because you gotta. Oh, okay. Oh, is that it? I like this outfit though. <laughs> so. Yeah. Give up now. Girl, second. Four, 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 Four,
We're getting the Anthony sound back on. Did good. Thank you. I did what good. a mother would do for her child. That's right. Open it up really for you. Right. That's right. I did. And shout out to mama for telling us the life hack, you know, extra hole. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. You got to poke that. That ain't <laughs> it. Yeah. Thank you, mama. We appreciate that so much. So much. 
Yeah. <laughs> Yes, indeed, family. Well, listen, on social, let us know how you feel. Uh, tell us what is, so far, your favorite highlight. And again, we're just so happy to be here, for sure, for sure. Do y'all need help clean up anything? No, I'm good. I'm a, you can actually leave that. I'm going to drink the rest of it. Oh, that. okay. Well, what, was, what was it in there? <laughs> I don't know, but it's it juice? I thought it was a mimosa, but it wasn't. It is. <laughs> I still don't know what it tastes like. <laughs> I don't know what it tastes like. Yes. Are we hooked up? Are we hooked up? Okay. Our first presentation. Hi, Denise. Hi, Tasia. <laughs> Hi, Kendall. How you doing? Hi, family. Do I need to move over? I'm good. Okay. I'm not this. Speak up, thing is, please. Okay. okay. You're Thank not, you. Said, I'm not used to this. Like I'm not Don't used to. Don't be scared. Okay. Okay. <laughs> My name is Denise Griffin. I have known Tasia for a few years. Started off, I did her brows a couple times, and we prayed, we talked about God. She's just who she is, and I'm so thankful just for the person that you are in front of the camera, behind. There's no difference. You are who you are, and you. We did, I didn't know Kendall until recently. I am now the managing editor for a new magazine called The MB Mag, stands for Mind Blowing Magazine. And if you all had seen some of the posts that she put up recently, a couple weeks ago, she and Kendall were our first couples edition what? cover. <laughs> and not only, I mean, they blessed us beyond measure. Um, just talking about marriage and their relationships and where they've been through their lives individually and then how God brought them together, blessed our listeners, our readers, myself, Editor-in-Chief Stacey Sorrell Moore, who is in Chicago, wish she could be here, but she's not. We are just so thankful. And we have a few gifts for you, but one that we brought, um, that I brought for us is uh, your cover. <laughs> we wanted Thank to blow it up so for you much. and present it to you. And um, it's we, we just can't thank you enough for everything that you both have done for us. Um, Mind Blowing Magazine is a Christian publication. We are a modern, for the modern woman of God. So we mix high fashion with the word of God. We are presenting Jesus to the world very differently. And we, it, we're in our own lane. And you guys were our first married couple. Stacey made the decision after the two of you blessed us. Every year, there will be one special edition dedicated to a married couple who is presenting themselves authentically for Christ in their walk, unashamed, unapologetic, and doing what it is that he has you to do. So we are so thankful for you. And we have some things for you, for you, and for Miss Kezia. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. You are so welcome. So much. You are so welcome. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Much success. This was Trail a fun blaze. shoot. I didn't think I could be cute again, like all big, but I turned out hot. Right, Mom? It was, was wonderful. If it you would have said something else, I would have <laughs> <laughs> So the whole MB Bag family is thankful for you both, and um, we're not done. We're not Ooh. done. Just getting started. So be on the lookout. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you, you. so bless. much. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, that actually, actually, you guys... Uh, because I, I keep forgetting we're on Taylor Talk Live. Thank you, sis. Thank you, queen. That interview that we did was very, very, um, it was good. I think we kind of, me and Ken kind of forgot that we were interviewing, and we shared some great things on there that he's got coming up, that I have coming up. I don't know. It was just a good interview. I mean, the atmosphere was right. Yeah. The atmosphere felt very conducive for us to be authentic, you know, to our truth. Yeah. And um, we just did what we normally do, just talk. So yeah, I mean. we'll put a, I guess, is there a way we can post again where they can, like, go back and listen to the, the interview, D? Yeah, we'll post it. We'll post it later. Okay. We'll okay. We'll Thank you it. so much. That was beautiful. I bet they over there like, I can't hear them. I can't hear them. <laughs> can they hear <laughs> us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Nice okay, guys. so next coming up nice. is the team who, who did the decorations. Hey. Y'all <laughs> killed, man. Y'all killed. <laughs> Hi, how you guys doing? Hi, babe. All right, so we wanted to say thank you 
to you all for what you do weekly, and how you pour into people. You poured into our lives and our home. It's my brother, sister, and I since 2005. Yeah, we're so yeah, that's my yeah. So when they uh, when we started the company, we wanted to make a difference, and we wanted to present something to you all. I'm gonna let my sister tell you. Hi, um, and I'm not gonna cry. I'm gonna try not to cry. Um, this is emotional for us because the father is faithful. And for us to be in your presence, the both of you, it means so much. I've watched you from American Idol on up. So to be here to serve you is such a pleasure. So from Beyond Expectations, um, I know you guys are already married. We wanted to present to you a gift towards a renewal whenever you guys are ready. Um, this is a touch of what we can do for a baby shower. <laughs> Thank you. I got you, Queen. So, <laughs> so we wanted to give you another level of fabulosity um, for our, of our renewal whenever you guys are ready. Um, I wanted to present you with this check, <laughs> you and Mr. Uh, Taylor, um, just to say thank you. Again, it's catapulting when you can serve a celebrity and family. So we just wanted to give this to you, $25,000 towards your Vow renewal whenever you guys are ready. Um, so thank you so much for allowing us to be a part of this day. Um, we also want to give one special shout out to um, a team that works with us so, so very closely. Um, and the floor, you'll probably see a little bit closer. That's a custom floor. Not many people get their face on their dance floor. <laughs> so um, we want to say thank you to <laughs> Joe um, and the team at Illuminations who comes out and they assist us um, every event. So thank you guys so, so much. We are honored to be here. Wait a minute, you can't just yeah, leave Yeah, like yeah, yeah, I feel like I got to give oh, a hug God. or a dab or something. Wait, I'm, you can't just leave like that. Um, well, I'm going to start off. See, no more crying. Okay. okay so, I've known the both of you for a very long time. So good to meet you, sis. To see how far you guys have come, I didn't even know you could even do this. So when Dorikas told me that it was you two guys, y'all, these guys have been supporting me since I won Idol. Especially this joker right here. All day. <laughs> we worked out together, helped me get my body good, eat good. And now to see you guys doing this, me and Ken will support you in any way possible. And I pray that people who are watching, whatever you got going on, I don't care where you are, I know you can get there, right? This is beautiful, and I'm very, 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 very proud of you. I'll keep you covered, because guess what? The more doors God opens, the more tests will come, but you will pass them. So for being a blessing to us, we definitely got to be a blessing to you guys. How God tells us to do it, I don't know. But nobody's ever, ever done anything yeah, like this good. before. And if I could say one thing, you know, I'm, they know I'm deep, I'm intentional. It's just the way my mind works. Don't let anything, especially the success coming your way, break this up because y'all are family. Yeah. And in our community, there's a misconception and an illusion that family can't work together, that when money and success and things come in, it, it, it begins to mess up the bloodline. So there's other families that'll watch you and say, if they can do it, if they can still love each other genuinely, leave room for each other's creative, submit to whoever's the leader, knowing it's still a bigger vision, you can help break down some nonsense in our community because this needs to happen more where we join together, do something impactful as one instead of competing with each other. So this, thank you, like this is so humbling. You've been bouncing back and forth so much. I, I already recognize you at first, but do what you do so you can kill and dismantle that lie. Yeah. So that we can do in our community what all the other ethnicities do in their community and experience success at this level. So thank you so much, man, and salute. Thank you, thank you. can I have a hug? <laughs> It's gonna be hard for me to give me what church hug, like a church hug. Yes. Thank you. Oh man, have I missed my makeup? No, you look great. Okay. You good? You good? 
That was so beautiful. Hey, real talk. And I'm going to see you in three years. You know, because that, that, that renewal going to happen around 10. Oh, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. It'll be a joy to accomplish that moment with you guys. So, yeah. Oh, uh-oh, trouble. So. <laughs> What's up, bro? This, this, man, listen. When the Rikas called me and said that y'all were wanted to do this here, it was an absolute honor. Yes. Yes. Kendall's birthday party here was epic. <laughs> <laughs> the guys from Bionics, the job that they did with this space, and y'all knew us when we first got this space. Yeah. It was raw. And what they've transformed this into was absolutely phenomenal. Um, but it's a testament to the love that people feel for you guys. Um, my queen is in the back. What up, can, you, can you come on up here? Because you know, Tasia's <laughs> don't get a chance to see you often. What I want to offer you is after the baby comes and you settle down the other, I want to do the first photo shoot. Yay. <laughs> okay. Can I get all the children in, all the cheering, as we would say, I want all, all the children in. All my kids in there. <laughs> we missing two, they running late. How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. I just want to say congratulations. We can't wait to see the precious bundle. <laughs> yes. And yes, we, we're very grateful and appreciative that you selected us out of all the venues that you could have done this to do it here with us. And any way that we can support you all and, and your whole family, please, you know, you know we're here for you. We love you. This is your home. Love you too, man. <laughs> we had Kendall's birthday party here. Crazy. Now you gotta tell them what's the name of the, the spot so the people who are watching in Charlotte. Studio 229 on Brevard. He has it right there on his shirt. <laughs> that, that's your, there you go, Queen. Yeah, Studio 229 Kendall's on Brevard in Charlotte, North Carolina in Uptown Charlotte, the heart of downtown. And uh, we, we love to service uh, special events. We do live entertainment. But most importantly, we say we celebrate good times here at Studio 229 yes. on Brevard. And we do it with love and from the heart and with integrity. Yes. And that's everything. Yes. yes. Such a queen. <laughs> so elegant. <laughs> Thank you. It ain't over. I'm going to talk to you after we get done about something <laughs> I got in mind. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, OK. Love you too, bro. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. What's up, Derek? Okay, okay. My turn. So, um, I love you guys. I really, really love you guys. You have been, I mean, you know, we started this thing like 12 years ago. And here we are. You know, I've been with you when you were single. When you was crying, didn't think that you would ever find, you know, your, your king. And then with you through a marriage. And um, so here you go with the child, you know. And, um, and I'm happy for you. And so when I thought about putting this together for you, I just wanted to make you happy. Just wanted to make y'all happy, you know. Um, yeah, so I ain't going to get all emotional. Yeah, please, I'm about to cry again. But you don't ever ask me for a lot, especially, well, let me take that back. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take that back. Let me take that. You don't ever ask me to buy you a lot of things. I don't know. And so you asked me for one gift. And so I got it. And so, uh, yeah, Steven, I got you the little Cadillac that you asked me to get. Yeah, I'm looking so cute coming out. She asked me for. <laughs> she asked me for a little yes. gift. And so this, this is your little Cadillac. Look how little <laughs> it's gonna be a baby in there soon. This, this is, is your the, little this Cadillac. Is the one. This is the one you asked me about. This the dude. Yeah, a, da a dad can swag yeah, that one. Yeah. I'm all right with that. Can you yeah. swag it back? Yeah, yeah, Man, yeah, let me see. That. Let me see. How how Come, I'm a, how I'm I a walk with it with the straw? Yeah, <laughs> Come on, babe. <laughs> yes, oh. so let's go, Kendall. Uh huh. This is the Duna, ladies. The Duna is the one because it's a car seat and a stroller all in one. You don't have to take it apart. Let me see, babe. Wait, wait, babe, wait, wait, stop. DJ Nice, give my baby some music to walk to. Babe, go back, babe. Oh. What's that time you want to be on? Where you can walk slow. Where you can walk slow? 
Outside. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let me see it, baby. Yeah. So listen, 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 Linda. Listen, Linda, and listen, Ken. So, when I thought about doing this for you, there is no way I could do this and not have some music. So, I reached out to some friends, and I asked them to come help celebrate you and baby Kazaya. So I want you to sit back and relax and enjoy yourself.
so we want to dedicate this song to you because God is making ways and opening doors and so we want to speak this over you
sit down for a little bit. No more standing too long. Father, Father, Father. Father, I come to you right now in the name of Yeshua. For everybody talks about you, Father, but it is that line of Christ that is the demarcation line between spirit and truth. And we dare not deny you, Heavenly Father, in private or public, for we know that you would deny us, but you've given us so much to be worthy of that we boast in your pierced hands, we boast in your sacrifice, we both boast in your promise, and I just ask, Father, that you cover my children. If this is a symbol of your grace and your mercy and your promise from Keziah coming into the world, and let it continue to heal, let it translate to the hidden places so that we could be a testament of your glory, Father, for all that this belongs to you, all that we are belongs to you. And I humbly ask that you bless every single person who brought a gift, a sacrifice, a talent, a service, a product, anything to this moment. That you would touch their lives a hundredfold for what this means to me and my queen. And let this be an example to my family that I have not heard. Her. I have not seen, ear has not heard, nor has it even entered into our hearts the things that God has planned for us. I'm, boy. So I just want to thank you for love and love everlasting. And I ask that you give me what I need to lead my family. In the name of Yeshua, I pray. We believe. Amen. know you my boo Jew. thank y'all so much thank you thank you thank you thank you i just got my worship i had had it in a long time so thank you Amen. yeah all right now i'm handing it back over to the host Oh, yeah. 